What's going on everyone? Red with the Irish Zombie Nation. I am out at City of Rocks camping with my buddy Shadow. Uh, it's supposed to be about 22 degrees tonight. This is going to be the coldest camp I have done yet in New Mexico. I'm really looking forward to it. Got all the cold weather gear. We have a truck bed full of wood. Shadow's got his trailer. He's camping in there. I'm going to be camping on the, uh, the cot. I have a cot that you guys have not seen yet because I don't use it that often. Really, it's more for like if someone's staying at my place or something like that. But uh, as you saw coming in here, City of Rocks, this place is a big city of rocks out in the middle of the desert. So Shadow's over here right now in the uh, truck. He's figuring out where he's going to park everything. He's trying to back up and I'm in the way so we can dump all the wood. You can see all that right there. Let me uh, show you around real quick. We've got our campsite over here. There's some uh, trash cans right there. We have our own little trash cans. This place is kind of set out away from all the other campsites. There's one over there someone's at right now, but that's it. So let me show you around. It's where we're gonna be hanging out. We got fire pit, got a picnic table. Like I said, trash cans are around the corner over there. I think I'm gonna set my cot up right here on this little ledge so that when I wake up in the morning, I will be able to check out that view. And then at night, I'm gonna have hopefully clear skies. I'll be able to look up, have nice view of the stars. It's a little bird hanging out watching us check him out where is he this little guy right here just hanging out see how well i can zoom in on him welcoming us to camp <laughs> thank you my bird friend i don't know what to call you uh, he's gone he didn't like me all right so that's pretty much it let me show you all the wood we got <laughs> so like i said it's gonna be 22 degrees tonight so we're expecting to have a fire most of the night there's my buddy shadow Boys and girls. There we go. This is his setup. He's already got a cot in there. He's you got that Mr. Buddy heater. Oh man, I wouldn't be without it. <laughs> right. So <laughs> his setup. I think I've shown you this before, but he's got the old school setup, man. The kitchen table, chair, and the cot, and everything in there. I got my stuff in the back right there. He's getting ready to open it. But as you can see, whole truck bed full of wood to burn tonight. Some very large logs in there and such. So. That's it for now. I don't know how much talking I'm going to do. I'm going to do a lot of just camp stuff. So if there's something to say, I'll bring you back for that. Otherwise, I might try a little bit more of just showing you what's going on around camp with music in the background or something like that. I'm not really sure yet, but we're going to do a little hiking later. Hike up over this ridge once we get the fire going. Look at this place. There's a trail back over here that goes up over all the rocks. I don't know. I'm sorry if the sun was in your in the uh, camera there, but it's a trail over here that goes up over the top of the rocks with a bunch of little spots to hang out and uh, little observation points and such. So we'll see what we're going to do, but that's it guys. We're camping city of rocks. This is December, 2022. It's not quite winter yet, but it almost is. We're only a couple days away. Uh, so this is technically not the first winter camp in New Mexico, but I'm going to call it that anyway, since it's going to be winter temperatures tonight. So thanks for joining me. Talk to you later. Done setting up getting ready to relax for a minute going to hike this trail which i'm going to show you now but first i'm going to show you how we got camp set up got my pack hanging off the rock here just some cord up around that rock that's jammed in between these other two giant rocks 
It's uh, one of our wood piles. Second wood pile. That's where I'm sleeping tonight. This is an I climb uh, military style cot. I don't think they make these anymore. This company sent me a bunch of stuff. The cot was one of the items. I'm missing the spreader bar up there. Doesn't matter to me. I don't really use them anyway. I don't need it. So it's a nice cot. I've had guests sleep on it. I've got my walking stick up there with the Lucy light hanging off of it. Just pinned up against the uh, inside of the frame of the cot with these rocks. My vest hanging out of a rock. Again, jam something into there. Got these down booties since it's going to be cold tonight. You've seen those. I did a review of them a long time ago. Cabanese down booties. These things are like a hundred bucks or more now. I didn't pay that much when the, I had them. I have this bug net over right now. I probably don't need it, but it's just helpful to prevent if there is something crawling around out here, which I don't think there is. It's pretty cold. Uh, prevent anything from getting in there. These are the big all night logs that Shadow brought. And uh, this Axe Approxima. I picked this up at a flea market, I don't know, about two weeks ago or so. Recently sharpened it and that sucker is doing great. Got a dur log in there. This is our kindling to start everything. Picnic table, a little bit of uh, you know tripod, little GoPro equipment and such like that sitting around. This stove right here, Shadow's gonna. Hey, Shadow. Yep. Shadow's over here looking all majestically off into the <laughs> into the mountains. Wow. Tell me a little bit about this stove that you just got. It. Now this is a uh, Pathfinder stove. I know nothing about. It's new. He's only used it once or twice, but uh, recently purchased this cool little carrying case for it. But go ahead, tell me about the stove. Yeah, it's a multi-fuel stove. It operates on the one pound propane uh, with a fitting. You unscrew this and it will also work on the isobutane. And it also has a pump that comes with a bottle that I didn't bring because I've had all this fuel, but it screws in and you can use unleaded gas, diesel, white gas, kerosene. It'll burn on anything. It's a multi-fuel uh, from the Pathfinder. And they also sell separately the the pouch i just got that in today and everything fits in it real nice it's a ifac pouch oh yeah and uh, i've yeah. seen something similar to this condor makes as an ifac pouch yeah this one's a little bit different but yeah it's a nice looking yeah. pouch holds everything in place yeah it works nice. real well real well comes with a screen too yeah well. windscreen so we're going to be using this during the trip here when we get this thing operating i'll bring you back for some more of that but it's a really cool little stove just came out with the self-reliance outfitters slash pathfinder school what does that thing run about a hundred bucks. There you go. That's not bad for a multi-fuel stove, guys. So check that sucker out. Go over to Pathfinder. See if you like one. You'll see a little bit more of it in action later today. This is the trail that leads out from the camp. But that's our campsite surrounded by these giant boulders. Hence the City of Rocks thing, you know. <laughs> but wonderful sight. And then over here, you might have seen me set that up a little while ago. Right past these rocks over here. I've got my chair and my little one tiger's table I'm going to be doing a review on soon set up. That way in the morning when I get up, I can, you know, walk away from the camp so I'm not making too much noise, have my coffee, read a book, which I didn't bring a physical book this time, so I have a book on my phone. And actually, my buddy James from Junkyard Fox, he's been talking about this book, Blood Meridian, for a long time. I've never read it. I have it as an audio book, so I might listen to that in the morning. I prefer reading, actual reading, though, when I'm out camping. Audiobook is more for when I'm, you know, I'm driving or I'm just bored and I have this menial task I have to complete and it gives me something to listen to, occupy my mind. But this table, I can tell you so far, this One Tiger's Camp table is really, really nice. I dig it. It's got this cool little mesh pouch underneath, which at first I didn't think I'd use, but I use it a lot. But yeah, man, just sitting right there in the morning, having your coffee, reading a book, and that is going to be my view. Hopefully tonight, we're gonna have clear, clear skies and a ton of stars. Okay, Hydra Hike and Bike Trail. It has a bunch of different points of interest. The bench rest, the first one, and that's that one I showed you off in the distance over there. And the whole thing loops around this whole entire park, the City of Rocks, it loops around the city. So here's the entrance to the trail. Let me show you the map over here. Hydra Trail, the Table Mountain Trail. 1.87 miles to the top of Table Mountain. Bring plenty of water and stay on the trail to avoid rattlesnakes. So here we are, right there, okay? And then that trail that we're going to walk right now goes up here, separates at this point. If you go this way, you come up around and you go around the entire park and there's different little points. There's another little point right there. I believe that is the other little uh, observation point. It goes all the way around, but 
if you instead go right and then up, you end up going up to the top of this mountain. So the trail goes back over here, you take a right, you come up, you come around, it goes around this, right in that little gully right there. So it goes here, you go right up there, goes all the way up around, you go to there, and then you go around and up to that top little observation point. Focus right up there. So the sunset, unfortunately, wasn't what we expected. Now is going behind the clouds. So we hiked that trail a little bit, came back, uh, just been hanging out for a minute. But see this guy right here? Let me see if I can zoom in before he disappears. See him? <laughs> he was on the trail behind us, far behind us. And uh, <laughs> he came out over here and he just stopped and stood there and stared at the sky. And then he walked over here and he stopped right there in the middle and he stared at the sky. <laughs> I think that's awesome. This is old dude out here hiking the trail by himself and he just stops every now and then and he stares at that because you should look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Every now and then you all, all of us, me included, because I don't do it enough anymore. I need to start doing it more. We all need to stop. Just stop and stare at it. Fire's blazing away. This axe is awesome. <laughs> Great flea market find, but look at that. We got the other big log. It's already starting to roast on the edge there. I don't know how well you can see it. Yeah, man, we're gonna have a fire all night long out here in the New Mexican desert. All right, it's about time to eat something, so I'm breaking into the food bag here, some old Osprey bag that I got. I got some Dots pretzels. I'm not eating those, though. Instead, what I'm doing, and the, they fell out of the bag, but these are by Bridgeford. I got these when I bought this cup right here, if you'll focus down here. This is by the Pathfinder School. Uh, I don't know why I started buying some of their stuff recently, but this mug cup situation is really nice. It has a nice lid. Uh, that acts as a strainer and all kinds of stuff. But while I was there, since I didn't want to pay for shipping again, I bought these Bridge Ford, Bridge Ford ready to eat pepperoni pizza with cheese and sauce. So what these things are, basically, that's not the right one, but this is the right one. Yes. It's the main entree to an MRE. So these have like a three or four year shelf life, I believe. You can cook these in many different ways. You can boil the, you can boil the package in water to heat it up. Uh, microwave it, use a 
FRH, like a, a flameless heater from an MRE, something like that. Yeah, I mean, you can open it up, microwave, put it in a toaster oven, whatever. But it is pizza. And also, I don't have to do any of that. I don't have to warm it up at all. I can just eat it right out of the package. So that's going to be dinner tonight. But I also have this sandwich shelf stable Italian style, which I heard was really good. But Pathfinder had these on sale. You get two in a package for $4.79, which I thought was an awesome deal. So dinner tonight is probably going to be that. I brought two each, so if Shadow wants to try them, you can try them. Uh, later on, I'll probably do a review about these, but until then, it's probably just going to be drinking some of that whiskey right there, backing it with some of this peach tea right here, and wearing this super cool cowboy hat right here. <laughs> so what we basically have out here is an outdoor furnace. This log, I mean, this is a furnace. It is extremely hot. I have to stand feet away from it and zoom in with my camera damn near to get this thing uh, in the shot. So, I mean, I, I've lived in some ghetto areas. I can tell you in Kansas City, Kansas, I have known houses that have furnaces older and more unreliable than this log. <laughs> this thing is blazing away. All right, so it's about uh, 5.30 in the morning. Uh, woke up about half an hour ago, got the fire blazing away only needed to use the where is it i don't know if you guys can see this the pocket bellows i've shown this many times just a little tube blow into the the hot bed of coals <laughs> coals ain't here but i'm gonna say it anyway blow into the hot bed of coals there got the fire blazing away giant log on there gonna last for a while gonna watch the sunrise uh have a shot of whiskey and watch the sunrise that sounds like a good way to start the day uh, everything's cold out here. It got down probably in the high twenties. It was supposed to be 22. I don't think it got, it got below freezing. I know that, but I don't think it got, maybe, maybe it did. I don't know. I was asleep. <laughs> so, uh, gonna check out the sunrise and, uh, go find a place to eat in Deming, New Mexico. We found this place called the Cactus Cafe. I think that's where we're going to head. They have everything, barbecue, Mexican, American, all that kind of stuff. So, well, the sun has finally risen. Unfortunately, there's a ton of clouds, uh, but it's still a really nice sunrise. The sky looks beautiful. I got my cup of joe here. I got the something to read. Uh, I wanted. I was going to listen to an audiobook, but Shadow had this Bushcraft Essentials by Dave Canterbury right there. I'm sure you're all familiar with this book. What's cool about this one, that, uh, let me put this coffee down real quick. What's cool about this one is Dave signed it. It's like one of 300, I think, or something like that. Yeah, so Dave Canterbury signed edition of Bushcraft Essentials Field Guide. I like this little sucker, so... Now that I've got some coffee and I have an actual physical book, I'm gonna go chill over here and uh, just enjoy the morning. So this was my first time just sleeping in a cot outside. Uh, I had the MMSS and that thing. I can't tell you how perfect of a sleep system this thing is. Completely warm, mid 20s, I don't know, high 20s, whatever it got down to last night. My, my little climate static X pillow slipped out. So I was using my, my elbow as a pillow. But besides that, and I got that jacket on top of there right now, the heated jacket I did a review on a while back, but that sleep system is awesome. And sleeping on a cot, <laughs> it was like having a bed outdoors. I mean, that thing is awesome. I get up, I'm sitting in a seated position. I'm not crawling out of a tent. I'm not crawling out of the ground, off the ground. I don't have a inflatable pad or any of that stuff. Yeah, this is heavy, but I do have on order a new little mini, not mini, I don't know. It's, it's supposedly the same height, but it only weighs about six pounds. There's a uh, expandable leg, so I can either get it lower to the ground or raise it up. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking this cot situation out here in the desert when there is literally zero chance of rain out here at this time of year, or at least this weekend, <laughs> uh, this is the way to go. So I think I'm going to start doing a little bit more with the cot. And the cot that I have on order can, my saddlebags I've showed you before on my motorcycle, I have uh, some shock cord that I strapped around to send some stuff down. I can put that on one saddlebag on the top, and then the other side I could have a that uh, thermo rest, ridge rest, uh, closed cell phone pad in there. I mean, this is a great way to sleep, so I definitely recommend it. 
And I definitely recommend getting up before sunrise and having a fire with your buddy and drinking some whiskey. <laughs> Little uh, Irish coffee this morning. So out of nowhere, rain. We just left our campsite. I just looked it up. Apparently there's snowflakes back there. Yeah. Nice cold weather camping trip in New Mexico with a little bit of rain. All right, this camping trip is about over. We have rolled up into the Cactus Cafe over there. I can't, I'm not a good weatherman, that, that direction. Cac yeah, there we go. Cactus Cafe. Roll up in the backside. This place looks pretty good. I am very hungry as a shadow and it's raining, so we're gonna get in here and get some grub. It's very nice. Look at this place. Look at this. What's a special brisket sandwich? Ten bucks. Put tamales. All right, I normally don't do videos of food, man, but you know, I'm new to this area, the uh, the Southwest with the New Mexico chili and stuff. And man, these red chili fries, <laughs> they are super spicy. They're uber delicious, filled with cheese. Look at this, just look at that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, it's delicious. Shadow's having some coffee. Yeah, this stuff's delicious. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Oh. <laughs> ah, <yeah. laughs> I recommend, so far, just off the appetizer, what's this called? Cactus Cafe. <laughs> All right, end of the camping trip. Meal has arrived. Look at that burger. Onion rings, bacon delicious our appetizer he got the combo plate side salad i got another side salad coming I'm gonna dig in all right everybody that's pretty much it cactus cafe that that food was delicious the uh the red chili there's shadow over there walking away the red chili fries uh for an appetizer was delicious the side salad was great i had a some type of bacon burger with green chili on it i'm I'm trying to get into the green chili thing. I don't like the green chili as much as the red. But everything was delicious. And of course, <laughs> when there is an Irish Zombie Nation camping video, it has to rain. So it is raining out here. Cactus Cafe, there it is. Shadow's getting in the truck. We're going to head out of here and just end this. So thanks for joining me. Like, share, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff. And until next time, I'll catch you down the road.